Hello and welcome back to Yashoda Hospital's online segment, The Health Talk Session. When it comes to dieting and nutrition, the internet can be a confusing place. One website may tell us that this particular diet is good for us, whereas another website at the same time can tell us that it's not beneficial. Should I fast? Should I eat low carb? Should I eat low fat? Or should I eat high protein? Well, all these questions can be confusing if you're looking to lose weight. I'm Dr. Lakshmi and in today's episode, let's discuss about nutrition and dieting. Joining us today, we have with us Dr. Kamlesh, consultant from Yashoda Hospitals, Sikindrabad. Welcome, Doctor. Good morning. So, Doctor, the word diet has become such a fashionable word. So, what exactly do we mean by a normal diet? Yeah, diet is nothing but the daily nutrition which we take and it is to sustain a normal and healthy life. A normal or a balanced diet contains different ingredients which basically predominantly includes carbohydrates, fats and proteins along with a lot of fiber, vitamins and minerals along with good amount of water. That is what a regular diet contains, water, minerals, fiber and different carbohydrates, proteins and fat. That's a normal diet. How we balance it, how we mix it, that is very important for a healthy life and to prevent a lot of diseases or to maintain diseases. So that is a healthy, uh, normal diet. So doctor, a recent survey in India has showed that about 40% of Indian adults are obese and that's a significant rise in the past decade. So what do you have to say about this? With the rapid uh, industrialization and sedentary lifestyle, most of the people are having a sedentary lifestyle. People earlier were used to uh, sternness activities. They were working in the fields. They were working. They were not used to uh, automobiles, etc. So the physical activity was more. As the days have progressed with a lot of uh, inventions and everything, people have come, uh, reduced their daily activities and mostly restricted to their room or with, with to, uh, to their table. That's the reason mainly why the obesity is. Uh, is increasing predominantly in India. What happens is you are consuming the same diet but you are not burning it. So that is one of the main reasons. Then second important reason is the diet uh, habits have changed. Earlier people were using more of raw diet and now slowly processed foods, high energy foods have been more and more in use, especially the packaged foods which we are seeing. The hotel industry is booming like anything. People are used to outside food which are calorie dense. So these are the two main reasons, change in the food habits and restriction in the physical activity which are responsible for the obesity. I think you rightly said that our habits have changed. So would it be fair to say that it's all about our habits, the way we buy food when we go to a grocery store, that it's about more of processed food and refined food. So would it be fair to call it, it's all about our habits? I think definitely yes. Because of our uh, busy schedule, most of the people do not have enough time to go to the markets, buy vegetables, then cook them, eat, mix them in proper proportions and eat them. Most often what we do is because of the lack of time, after our busy office hours or so, we go to a grocery store, get tempted with the big uh, advertisements or hoardings and buy those. What this uh, food industry does, does is they do not display the real ingredients rather they try to concentrate on some in, in, uh, unimportant things and we get tempted for that and buy those things and start eating. That, that is one of the main thing. Second thing what happens is uh, once we go home also the food, the pack, these are usually the quantity of the food also is more than what it used to be. Earlier the food was consumed in a very small quantity, it used to be cooked at home and whatever was available we were eating. But now the food, we have so much of packaged foods at home, you open your fridge, you have a variety of food inside and once you start eating and the main culprit there is a TV, you sit in front of TV or whatever computer system and start, we never know what we are eating. So that is one of the reasons. I think absolutely right and I couldn't agree more. And one hack uh, for shopping at the grocery, what someone told me long back was uh, that all the healthy food and all the healthy stuff is at the outer corner, yeah. whereas um, the unhealthy food and the fast foods are all at the inner corner. <laughs> so doctor, you've been studying about different kind of diets across the world. 
So when it comes to patients, what, what are the different diets you put them on and what are the different diets that you follow for disease-specific patients? Now, with this increase in the carbohydrate content of our diet, what is happening is there is a rise in the different diseases. Because they are salt uh, dense, we develop, tend to develop uh, hypertension. Because they are calorie dense, we tend to develop diabetes, obesity, uh, etc. Dyslipidemia, that is a cholesterol, high cholesterol content also is very common with this. Now, to change the diet from this to a normal diet, what we have to go is, we have to go back to the basics. That is, a balanced diet, which will be having a proportion of carbohydrate equal to 50% or less than that about 40% and the rest divided equally between proteins and fat. Why I am telling that is the carbohydrates will, they are a strong stimulators of insulin and they promote insulin secretion thereby increasing obesity. So to reduce the insulin secretion what we have to do is reduce the carbohydrate, try to increase protein and fats. What everybody has to understand is which foods contain proteins, which food contains carbohydrates. So this is the basic change we are making in a diabetic patient. We are changing our diet from simple from processed foods to more complex carbohydrates including lot of proteins and fats. Basically raw foods have to be added like vegetables, legumes, beans, proteins etc. So don't you think when one is dieting they are focused on eating less but not focused about what exactly they are eating? So it's yeah. more of quality over quantity. So what do you have to say about this? That is not raw, not right. They do not know what they are eating. We can have good amount of food, but the proportions of the food are very important. That's what we have to do. Not reduce the quantity of food, but keep it at same volume, but try to change the proportion. That's very important. So doctor, we've discussed about different diets and nutrition. How about fasting? Do you think it's beneficial and do you think it's easy? Recently, there have been a lot of uh, different fire uh, diet uh, plans which have been popular among common public through various medias or various promoters. Among them are like Atkins diet, then vegan diet, then you have intermittent fasting, you have keto diet, you have uh, VRK diet, etc. There are a lot of different diets and every person fall, follows them according to their whims and fancies. And the question you asked was the fasting. Intermittent fasting is a very good uh, tool or uh, what you say diet plan which can help in reducing the weight but it has to be properly followed, person has to know what is an intermittent dieting. So now with intermittent fasting, what fasting does is, it reduces our insulin levels. Insulin as, as I told basically is a anabolic hormone and it helps in the storage of fat in the body, especially the liver and visceral viscera. So by doing an intermittent fasting, maybe 12 hours or 18 hours, what we do is, we are suppressing the secretion of insulin then we are promoting the endogenous ketones or our fat background and use fat or proteins as a source of energy rather than carbohydrates. That way we are reducing our caloric intake as well as burning more and more of fat and helping in reducing our weight. So personally, did you ever try fasting or try following a different diet? Do you think that's easy? I have basically personally done fasting for years together, maybe monthly once or twice and it has helped me a lot in reducing weight. So I think fasting is a good tool to reduce uh, weight, but you have to know how you are fasting and once you have completed your fasting, what you have to start with and how you have to end your fast is very important. What people do is they do fast for about 12 to 18 hours and then end up eating junk food. That should not be the thing. We should end the fasting with more of complex foods like carb complex carbohydrates, legumes, beans, etc. With some amount of cheating is allowed. And it seems that a lot of diet what different people follow across the world, I think it all comes down to sustainability. I think the first few 30 days it could be great, your weighing scale is uh, showing the right figures and you're losing good amount of weight. But what about after 30 days? How do you think one should be motivated? Uh, you take VRK diet or you take a keto diet, it is very efficient. You can reduce your weight by at least 20 to 30 percent. But then at the end of the month, if you are back to your normal diet, then you, you can easily regain that weight again. So there is a definite process in each of the diet. There is a mentioned a weekly plan or a monthly plan where they advise you how to change over gradually 
and sustain a weight loss process. So I think any diet you follow, it should be practical and enjoyable at the same time if you're looking for long-term goals. Yeah, another thing, some, most of these diets, what are they are not palatable, they are not tasty. What they, uh, what they do is, they advise you to, like I will tell you one of the diets, where they propose you, where they tell you to take about uh, 4 liters of water, 3 lemons and then about 80 to 100 grams of uh, fat a day which is not practical and it's impossible. It might help initially to lose weight about maybe 15-20 kgs. But is it practical or is it possible to continue that for a few months? No. So doctor, let's debunk few myths. Yeah. So red meat is killing us. It's not exactly right. But red meat is especially high in saturated fats, it's high in fat content. Therefore, better to avoid as much as possible red meat but you cannot totally avoid it. You can have a little bit if your lean meat content is high. How about red wine is good for the heart? Red wine in moderation is good for heart because it contains a lot of uh, antioxidants and in long run it can help us. Low carb is more effective than low fat. Yeah, correct. That is right. Low carb diet is more useful than low fat diet. So I would propose to go for a regular fat and reduce the carbohydrates in the diet. Eating breakfast is necessary to lose weight. So what happens is once you consume food, you have to spend it. If you eat in the morning, most of the times we are busy and we are, it's easy to burn that calories. Suppose we are having heavy calorie, heavy food in the night. What we do is usually we'll sleep. So major, most of the times what happens, it gets converted to fat. So it's better to eat heavy breakfast and burn it through the day with our activities rather than eat heavy meal and store it in the form of fat in the night. So doctor, we've discussed about different diets across the world, about fasting. But what is the role of supplements when it comes to when one is looking to lose weight? So supplements can be variety of supplements. It can be vitamins, it can be minerals or it can be simple protein supplements like whey protein. So when you are trying to lose weight, it may not always be possible to have all the ingredients in a balanced proportion at home. So it's, it's, it's okay if you don't have time. You can supplement it with the, with the available, readily available market supplements. So this is useful. We should include, if you are really strict in diet, you are restricting your food content, then it's better to have supplements in the diet. So doctor, before ending this episode, what is the final advice you would like to give to everyone out there? Finally, what I want to tell is diet is nothing but a nutrition which helps you to sustain a normal and regular healthy lifestyle. It should contain balanced proportion of foods. And for a common man, it's easy to remember, have variety of food with all colors, all shapes and all uh, textures. That's all. Thank you, doctor. It was wonderful having you here today. Thank you. So this brings us to the end of this episode. We've been discussing about various diets and debunking few myths with Dr. Kamlesh. Thank you all for joining us and do connect for the next week as well. Stay healthy and stay fit. Thank you.